We're back with Manoj Nair to wrap up Commvault Connections 2021, the virtual edition. Okay, Manoj, let's do this. You ready? Absolutely. All right, I'll get it started. Point one, data. You ain't seen nothing yet. You just wait. We're going to look back on the big data era of the 2010s and, and joke about how trivial it was compared to the next 10 years. Manoj, what are your thoughts on data value and data exposures? Dave, you know, data has never been more valuable, right? The new oil, your most critical asset, and neither has it been more vulnerable. So you kind of get these two things, value increasing, obviously it becomes more uh, you know, attractive to the, to the bad actors. And that's the era that we're living in. And really, you know, what organizations are need is, you, know, you kind of think about business resilience and all that. You need the ability to, as someone said, be anti-fragile, right? Keep testing it. See, you know, if if your data defenses are now ready to a point where your data is not a liability, but you can make it something that becomes a business advantage. So kind of that business resilience gap that we've been talking about and the business integrity gap is, is really, you know, what we had focused on. So our customers can really start just taking advantage of the value equation of the data. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to push my community here a little bit. And I, I'm going to, I think we need a new, new metaphor. I, Cause you know why? Cause data, Manoj, it's actually more valuable than oil. It's not scarce like yeah. oil. We're never going to run out of data. So we, uh, we I, I'm trying to come up with a new, a new one, but uh, we'll work on that. The cloud, the second point is the cloud is expanding. It's moving to the data center. We got hybrid connections. We're going across clouds. We got edge nodes. We got new workloads, real time streaming and, and AI inferencing, microservices and containers and AI and all this RPA and hyper automation, all the crazy buzzwords that combined your digital business stack. But the point is data is not only exploding, it's, exp it's exploding everywhere. Manoj, it's not just in one place anymore. Absolutely, and that's that's you know part of the challenge here that our customers face. You know, unless you know you were a company that was born yesterday, you have applications everywhere. Your your pace is different. Every customer's journey in the transformation is different. So you might take different directions, different ways. What do you do? You have some SaaS applications. You might start there, or you start with some public cloud. Maybe you start using some storage in public cloud. So as you transform and as you think, you are now creating more sprawl. And that sprawl, as we talked about before, this is like Swiss cheese. You got lights that you know people can take advantage of. On the other hand, because of that lack of a single unified data services platform, what you lose is the ability to take advantage of all your data your application mobility. And people talk, let's take the example of containers and Kubernetes. What is the point of having, you know, transportation and ability to move these containers to any cloud if your data is not available in all those clouds? What's the strategy for that? So the problems are also changing. They're more business centric than just static. You know, what I call the active data management era is really upon us. And that's really what's going to help they get full advantage of all of the other technologies around us, AI, microservices, edge, you know, IOT. You need to make sure you have a unified data services and intelligent data services platform. So uh, what I see is, is Commvault is essentially building that, that data protection cloud, or you might want to call it the data management cloud, although that starts to get into database and some other areas. But, but, but the concept of an abstraction layer that hides that underlying complexity of all the all the clouds and allows you to protect your data irrespective of location. That's to me. That's how you get control of your data, which is kind of point number three. And we heard Sanjay this morning talk about embrace, manage, and protect your data properly. And it can be the defining disruptive difference for an organization, which I agree. However, I am I, I want to play devil's advocate in the sense that I think the only way you can get control of your data is to you have to embrace that sprawl and that complexity and admit you're not going to shove it all into a single monolithic source of truth that those days are over. You have to, you have to realize that the world is decentralized. It's coming, it's here. So we have to implement automation and software to federate governance and policy and security and privacy and data protection across that abstraction layer that I just, just described. So Manoj, let's talk about that. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, you know, Dave, I said that uh, earlier too, and Sanjay is absolutely right. So you have to embrace that, you know, figure out how to make it a competitive advantage. 
no workload left behind. Commonwealth customers are able to protect everything from AS400 to Dynamics 365 in the cloud and everything in between, right? So microservices app, multi-cloud. Today we're top solution provider for the top clouds. We talked Microsoft earlier today, AWS, GCP. We are driving uh, exabytes of data and protecting exabytes of data. That is our strategic advantage. As you said, you cannot leave you know, strategies behind and say, you know what, that workload, not interesting anymore because your data is in there. So that, that is the approach, that comprehensive platform. And then on, built on that, you, you start saying protection, great. Now data security, how do you tackle that? Intelligence from data, insights from data, compliance challenges, my e-discovery challenges. So being able to tackle those things, ecosystem, very key. How, how do I build on top of this intelligent data services platform an ecosystem to take advantage of my data? These are all the layers that we believe you know, is very differentiated compared to anyone else out there. We're not forcing ever anyone into a single architecture and saying this is the best because you know what? We have learned from 25 years, there's no such thing as one single best architecture. Wow, AS400, one of the most innovative systems in the day. Uh, but Still alive, but, lots yeah, of data in there. there. <laughs> no, but the, the point of, uh, we talk about all the sprawl, this makes ransomware even more difficult because in, and insidious because of the expanding supply chain, the ecosystem, the, the threat surface, and really the sophistication of the adversary. We've kind of talked about that. And, and, and really new techniques are uh, the, the attackers are they're going mainstream. So, but Manoj, I want to give you the last word here. I want you to address two things, if you would. Security IQ, what's the big news there? Why the big deal? And why Commvault? Bring us home with the big picture of your differentiators. Take it away. Absolutely. So, so you mentioned ransomware. Bad guys always looking to find those exit drawers and break it, break it down. Security IQ, we're proud to launch this today. This kind of brings together a culmination of a lot of security that we have done, allows customers to be proactive in terms of, you know, we've kind of brought in gamification into that security aspect, like make it easy and almost make it fun to make sure you're plugging all the holes so that your last mile of defense is secure. Then you figure out how do you can become more proactive. I have the data intelligence that the security tools don't. When the bad guys start sniffing around the data or anomaly detection and machine learning, the ability to bring that intelligence, a highly you know, relevant signal into the security tools, building that bridge. And lastly, what happens when the you know, worst case scenario happens? Almost like a rewind button to go back on your data. Look, this is where malware came in and now you're able to just go back and, and delete this. So that's security IQ, amazing. Our you know, customers are going to try it out in the live hands-on lab that's happening. And you know, I'm, they're, they're, our, our feedback has been, this is just brilliant. They love it. So one more. You know, innovation. We keep doing this. We go. We're setting the bar. A year ago, we launched MCSS. You know, air gap copy in the cloud. You know, a few weeks ago. Now we're saying, oh, we can also do it, right? Well, we have now innovated to the next level. That that's Commvault. You know, bringing it home. Why Commvault? Twenty five years of innovation. You know, it is just amazing how the company had the vision to build a distributed architecture. You talked about a distributed world. Our beauty is we're not forcing preference. Customers might have self-managed applications where they want you know, to use software. They might have the need in some locations to have everything integrated with an appliance. You know, new workloads in the cloud. Let me see if I can start shifting to the data management as a service, which is really the next wave in the industry. And then finally, you know, what about that whole distribution that's happening again? So people will be, you know, we have that unique ability. We built a platform. We have amazing ecosystem partners and the biggest companies in the world trust us as you heard, you know, throughout the show. So that's what's combo, you know, sustained technology differentiation to make our customers really realize their vision of, of you know, leveraging their data as an asset. Nice job, Manoj, I love it. Okay, that's a wrap from Commvault Connections 2021. This is Dave Vellante from Manoj Nair and the entire Commvault team and the Cube team encouraging you to come back and check out the on-demand videos for anything that you missed, tell a friend, let us know what you think. For everyone here at Commvault Connections 21, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.